Good afternoon, Kelo Land. Temperatures are in the 60s and 70s at the moment with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. We'll watch these numbers continue to warm. Many locations will hit the 70s for afternoon highs. We are watching for slight chances of showers and thunderstorms tonight in north central, maybe northeastern South Dakota. More details on that forecast coming up as we begin midday in Kelo Land. Live from Kelo Land Media Group, midday in Kelo Land. Inmates involved with the South Dakota State Prison incident plead not guilty. And Michael Cohen in the spotlight at former President Donald Trump's trial. Good afternoon and thanks for having us in. A wanted man from Nevada is behind bars in western South Dakota. The Meade County Sheriff's Office and U.S. Marshals Service arrested Robert McHale in Blackhawk. The Las Vegas man was on parole for attempted murder and had multiple warrants. He was considered armed and dangerous. Authorities say McHale was taken into custody without incident. Eleven inmates have pleaded not guilty to charges from incidents at the South Dakota State Prison in Sioux Falls. According to the South Dakota Attorney General, the inmates face a combined 18 felony charges that stem from a late March incidents. Five inmates face multiple charges, while the other six only face one charge. The inmates pleaded not guilty yesterday in Minnehaha Circuit Court. All inmates are tentatively scheduled for a jury trial in August. And for additional information, check out this report we have on our website for you right now. In weather, pleasant right now. Some haze up there. Tomorrow, we could think about the 90s, Scott. Oh, we are looking at uh, temperatures warming to the 80s to near 90 degrees. Some of the forecast models putting 90s out there in south central parts of southeastern South Dakota. In the meantime, you're right. Still some haze out there. Uh, we are looking at a, a warm afternoon. You know, temperatures in the 70s will be a comfortable afternoon. We'll go dry during the day. But it's tonight there may be an isolated shower thunderstorm that develops in north central, maybe even northeastern South Dakota. It's in there at about 20 percent in northeastern Kettle Land. As you see, we're at 67 degrees in Sioux Falls and in Mitchell, 66 in Huron. We have 62 in Watertown and Brookings, already at 75 in Rapid City. And our winds are around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Every now and then we may get a higher gust that comes through. This is Futurecast. Now I mentioned those isolated chances out of shower or thunderstorm. You see how those do run through northeastern South Dakota during the overnight hours. And it is about a 20% chance to see something as we do go through the overnight. In the meantime, today, temperatures will uh, be, make their way to the middle, upper 70s. Some areas may even hit the lower 80s today in south central South Dakota. And then we'll watch things in north central Kettle Land for tomorrow night with developing showers and thunderstorms. We could get some strong wind gusts out of some of those storms that do develop during the evening hours and heading into the overnight. Notice how those do move through north central and parts of northeastern South Dakota during the evening for tomorrow. And there's that marginal risk for severe weather. Here's our forecast for tonight. Temperatures will eventually fall to the 40s and 50s. We'll have those light southerly winds tonight. And look at these numbers for tomorrow, Dan. Temperatures in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. I'll have more details on your Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast coming up. All right, sounds good. We all have different roles at different points in our lives, and of course, these frequently overlap. One of Eldon Nygaard's roles was friend to another highly decorated South Dakota. Joe Foss was a wonderful friend. Uh, we shared the same birthday, April 17th, quite a few years apart, but we've hunted pheasants together, dined together. I had him speak here at the university when uh, I helped start the uh, leadership uh, program here at USD. Tonight's on Kelloland at 10th Central takes us to Valiant Vineyards in Vermilion, where we'll learn all about Nygaard's remarkable life so far. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem will hold a rare news conference with South Dakota reporters at the state capitol tomorrow. According to an announcement, Noem plans to, quote, discuss the crisis at our southern border and the negative impact the open border and cartel presence is having on South Dakota's tribal lands. Reports say Noem was in Texas today to meet with South Dakota National Guard troops who have been deployed to help build more of a border wall there. This comes after a seventh tribe, the Lower Brule Sioux Tribe, in the central part of the state ban Nome from their land. In national developments, testimony resumes today in former President Donald Trump's criminal trial in New York. Bradley Blackburn reports. 
Michael Cohen is back on the stand today for more cross-examination. The defense grilled Cohen about TV interviews where he suggested he's in a David versus Goliath battle with former President Trump. During testimony this week, Trump's one-time lawyer and fixer linked his former boss to hush money payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels and to falsifying business records to cover it up. Whether the jury views Michael Cohen as a truth teller or whether they view him as just spitting another one of his lies is probably going to drive this verdict. Trump's defense team and supporters claim Cohen, who was convicted for lying to Congress, will say anything to put Trump behind bars. The star witness uh, is a serial perjurer. Then you have to ask yourself, what is this all about? And I think the only conclusion, of course, is it's election interference and it's tying up the president uh, from being out on the campaign trail. Trump faces 34 counts of falsifying business records and has pleaded not guilty. The presumptive GOP presidential nominee has repeatedly called the trial election interference. Every single review, every legal scholar that I've been able to read said there's no case, there's no crime, it's a disgrace that it was allowed to happen. Cohen is expected to be the prosecution's last witness. Then the defense gets its chance to convince the 12 jurors Trump is innocent. If convicted, he faces prison time, but many legal experts believe that's unlikely. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. The trial will be paused tomorrow so Trump can attend his son's high school graduation.